In this new video, I'm going to go over VFX Sequencer and kind of what it does. However, this is the first time I'm going to be using it, so I don't know exactly how everything works. I just want to expose it and let you know my thoughts. So I open up a patcher and I got Harmer on it. If I play a key, it's placed normally. Let me go ahead and disconnect this, add VFX sequencer and find out what's going on. I really like the looks of this. This actually looks really nice. Let's see what happens when I press the key now. So it appears that it breaks the notes down in different sections. Let me take a look on the right side and see. So you got art mode, different type of filters, input filters, key range. Um, I guess you can lower the steps. Let me just go to uh, eight steps. Sync, and it looks like you can, this is like the note length, I think. Is this how fast it's going, I think? It's got some swing that kind of adds a little more groove to it, a little bit of offset, glide. All right, so it looks like you can note slack different of these. Let me see what happens if I select from the preset. Why is it turning this one off? Hey, that actually really sounds cool. Octave. You stuck from a preset here. Hey, that actually sounds kind of cool. Let me add something real quick. So it appears like this, this is kind of like a sequencer that allows you to change the notes. You can make your own type of setup if you want to like have keys going all over the place. I can press one key on the keyboard. And then it follows the notes up and down depending on where you place them. And then I'm not exactly sure how to turn off and on notes. Huh, interesting. You can roll the dice. All right, guys. Well, there's lots I need to learn about this uh, little plug-in. And I'll perhaps make another YouTube video on more advanced features and how to do stuff. But I just wanted to make this video to check it out. They added it in the latest beta. And so it looks like it's going to be out. Well, it's already out. But in FL Studio 21, it's definitely going to be full in use. Currently, it's in trial mode. I don't know if that's because it's kind of just brand new or if you got to actually pay for it. I'm going to have to check that out. It's definitely worth possibly buying if you guys uh, want to open up this plugin and give it a shot. And if you guys figure out anything more than what I have, make a video about it. Thank you. Bye.